Hello, we're going to look at some awesome new functionality that lets you send messages directly in Teams chat using Power Automate. This opens up all kinds of possibilities. In our example, we're going to look at a really easy walkthrough where we're going to get a Teams chat message sent out every time a question is posted to a list in SharePoint. This is a nice additional option in addition to email notifications or in some cases some of you may even send out text notifications through Power Automate. Now we've got a third option to notify users of updates. So now let's get SharePoint smart. Okay, so under the video, you'll find a link to information about the functionality that we'll explore today. And this shows you many scenarios for sending messages from Power Automate using the uh, functionality provided. We're specifically going to focus on one especially useful scenario where we're simply notifying a specific user uh, based on some update taking place. In our case, it's going to be based on an item created in a SharePoint list. So you do want to have your SharePoint site open and also Power Automate and with that we'll be ready to go. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a new SharePoint list and we'll walk through all the steps to set this up. So I'm going to make a blank list and I'm going to call it SharePoint questions and create. Okay, and I'm just going to be super simple here. So I'm going to rename the uh, title field and um, we'll just call it uh, question. So I'm going to go to the list settings and rename that field. to question and hit OK. And that's it, <laughs> believe it or not. We're just going to be notified whenever anybody posts a question here and then we can um, notify them back. Um, I guess we can go ahead and put a column for answer. And we'll show the created by user in here. So I'll do show or hide columns. I want to know who asked this question. And that's all we need in our list, believe it or not. Okay, so with that, we can go ahead and work on our Power Automate, which would be the focus of the rest of the steps. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Power Automate, do a new flow. I want an automated cloud flow. And I'll call this send teams message when new question. Okay, so this will be when item created. Okay, now I need to just browse to my SharePoint site. I know that it is this one and my new list is called SharePoint questions. There it is. I don't need to make any more modifications here. Uh, you can rename it if you want. And now we'll get to the fun part, which is the um, Teams functionality. So this is the post message um, in a chat or channel. That's the name of the flow block. There it is. Okay, and then we want to follow the directions here. It says post in chat with Flowbot. Okay, and then I'm going to make this explicitly go to me. It wants an email address, so I'll just go ahead and stick that in. That's the email address I want to use. And that identifies that it will go to my Teams chat. Now I just need to put the content in 
and so I can uh, reference the dynamic information here and say uh, new SharePoint question posted and then I will drop in the question and then I'll say from and I'll do created by display name so that's the name of the person who added that item to the SharePoint list and then I want a link back to that list so I'll say answer here and I'm going to grab the URL of this SharePoint list uh, which is this get rid of the question mark I'm going to switch to code view um, I'm going to make this look nicer so Do this. Say answer here, and I'm just putting a the hyperlink in there. I need to answer here twice. That's it. You can format this however you want. It's just like formatting an email. I can save, and now let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and put a new question in. Okay, so. Uh, let's do a new question and I'll say how do I send messages to teams from SharePoint and save okay and then we just need to wait for our flow to run so I'll go to my landing page for my flow and then also what I like to do is watch my Teams chat. When you do get messages, they're gonna come from Power Automate. This is the Power Automate chat bot. Um, so that's how they will appear. And that helps the user you know, know that it's not directly from a person, it's coming from Power Automate. There it is, I just got that new message. New SharePoint question posted, how do I send messages, blah, blah, blah. There's the hyperlink. If I click on that, that takes me directly back to SharePoint. So that's it. Believe it or not, you know uh, everything you need to send messages now from Power Automate directly to Teams. Why would you want to do this? This is useful in situations where you need to get someone's attention immediately. We're all drowning in email, so we're getting lots and lots of those emails that does not tend to get noticed right away. The chat messages tend to get more of an immediate response. So you can define your recipients however you want. And I recommend that you explore all of the different chat options which are listed in the link below in the article provided from Microsoft. So now you've got a great way to get the attention of users immediately directly in Teams chat and connect it up with update events, such as when uh, files are loaded in SharePoint or particular updates are made to SharePoint lists. I hope you found that interesting and awesome like I do, and I hope you're using this functionality in your Power Automate flows and with SharePoint very soon. Good luck.